I am here, and you are there, and we're all exactly where we need to be right now. As you all know, I spent some time shortly after COVID struck, struggling with the question, how does our newly imposed inability to go anywhere impact our enactment of citizenship, our, our sense of community? And I asked four similar questions, specifically pondering the end of interactive communities and the ubiquity of no-go spaces and the death of community. <coughs> as bleak as my initial thoughts were in the weeks that have passed, uh, since I first posed those questions, I've learned and relearned things that I'd forgotten about resilience and community and about love. And many of those things I've learned and relearned from you. We've made and remade community, you and I, in our work together the past few months. We've placed ourselves in a variety of spaces that we've made into our own. We've poked and prodded at the, the boundaries of those spaces with exercises that play, challenge the very notions of boundary and borderlands. We've made ourselves at home with one another in many different ways. And we've done what we can, where we can, when we can. <clears throat> There's a parable that puts two people on a beach, a young girl and an older man who thinks himself quite wise. When they meet strolling the beach in opposite directions, the girl is busily bending down and picking up starfish <coughs> that have been washed ashore, chucking them back into the waves where she knows they'll be safe. What are you doing, honey? The man asks with more than a trace of condescension. I'm saving these starships, star starfish rather, the girl replies, picking up another one and tossing it back into the water. The man chuckles and he spreads his arms wide to kind of encompass the beach and the hundreds of starfish that are littering the beach there. And he turns to the girl and he says, a bit more condescendingly still, but there are so many. What does it matter that you save a few? And in reply, the girl says nothing. She just bends down once more and picks up another starfish. She picks it up and she throws it back into the water. She turns to the man, smiling, and she says, it matters to that one. For now, we do what we can, where we can, and when we can. And we do it together, in a way. We will be together again, physically. Someday, all of us will be together again. I have no doubt of that. And until then, let us all walk along our beaches and look out into the sea. I love you. And I'll see you soon.